they slammed me on the ground and started punching. They were punching my face. They were kneeing me in the face. And simultaneously, that's when one of the ride officers took my nylon, uh, it's like a rain jacket, so it's waterproof, hard to breathe through. And he, he took my hood and wrapped it around my, um, my mouth and my nose, and it was cutting off my breathing. I didn't know if I was going to get another breath, because the last thing I saw were fists and knees coming into my face from all directions in my head, the top of my head, all over. I pulled my face out from the hood of my jacket and I faced the other way. And I yelled out, I can't breathe. They read me my rights. They told me I was being charged for, I think they said obstruction of justice. And then later on they said mischief. I said, I understand, but I do not agree. They walked me over to a lineup, a very long lineup of people. We're going to give you two options. It was an ultimatum. You either A, sign this document we'll give you that states that you will not re-enter the protest and that you will leave and you all charges will be dropped. The other option was lose your business license, lose your ability to travel to the United States, among some other things. And I told them, I'll take the charges. Charge me. They didn't bring us into a cell. They didn't take our fingerprints. They didn't do anything that would give us evidence or paperwork. Instead, they brought us directly into the release room and said, there will be no charges laid on you. You are free to go. By the time I got back to my truck, my keys were gone. They weren't in my bag, they weren't in my jacket. They were